So finally, you've come up with a game, it's looking awesome, it plays perfectly, you're really proud of it, and you want to share this with other people. How do you do that without them being able to mess up your code? Well, you're certainly not going to let them log in as you and play with your game. So here's what we do. First of all, at the uh, top of your screen, you'll see the C project page, and just next to it, you'll also see this orange share button. And to the left of that, you'll see the name of your game. So the first thing to do is to change the name of your game. Now you can change this again in future if you want to, uh, but I'm going to call this Platform Demo for the moment uh, because I will be sharing it and you will be able to uh, try this game out yourself. So you name it first of all, then you click the Share button. And of course you need to be logged in for this. And straight away that is now um, shareable, it's now visible to, to other people. You've got the instructions here and that's worth filling in here so you can write in what to do. So, for example, uh, you can tell people to use the arrow keys to move. Uh, you can also tell them to uh, collect um, as many coins as they can, as many coins as you can. Uh, avoid the enemies. Uh, reach the portal. So it's obvious to you what to do, but of course to someone coming into this game who's never seen it before, they're not going to quite know what's expected. So include the instructions, make it clear, put that there. Um, you can put notes and credits. So you, if you've created this um, game by watching the tutorial, then you could uh, put that down here. You could uh, put a link to the uh, website where you've got the tutorial from so that people can have a look at it and do the same thing. Um, you can switch commenting on or off. If you put commenting on to, to begin with, then other people can leave comments. If you decide later on you don't want that, you can switch that off. It's simply a toggle switch there on and off. And you'll be able to see how many people have viewed your game and people can uh, heart it and star it and everything as well. Now, when you go onto games in Scratch, you will always see this see inside button and other people will be able to click that and they will be able to see your code. Don't worry about that because when they do, they aren't actually looking at your copy of the game. They're looking at a copy made specially for them. So although they can play around with the code, they can change the way the game works and looks, they're not changing your copy, they're only changing their copy of your game. Uh, the other thing, of course, that you might want to do is click this full screen button here, and that'll make the game go full screen. And then this address at the top is what you can email to people or share, and that will take them directly to your game and put it in full screen. So this is the uh, link here. And in fact, uh, on this um, page where this video is, if you look just underneath the video, uh, you'll see that there is this address, uh, this exact address there. So you can go on and look at this game. So you can look at this game, you can play the game, you can look inside at the code, uh, and you can use the code to help you if you're struggling with your own. So that is how to share your fantastic game with the world. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial series. I uh, hope you're pleased with what you've ended up with at the end and that you decide to use these skills to either make more games in the future or just carry on improving this one. Uh, so have fun with your newfound gaming career. Enjoy the millions ahead of you. Have fun playing and I'll see you in a future tutorial or more probably somewhere around school. Till then, bye for now.